All right, hi. God bless whoever is watching right now in Jesus' name. Uh, whatever led you to this video, I pray that you are strengthened, encouraged, and that you take away something from this that hopefully opens your eyes. And ultimately, the goal is to bring glory to God through sharing my experience. So uh, this is one of many videos I hope to do. It's been on my heart for a long time to share my experiences and things that I've learned from the Holy Spirit and in my walk with Christ. So just a little quick background on myself. I've been saved, uh, filled with the Holy Spirit since I was a young child. And I was fortunate to be raised in a home with a mother that was full of faith and raised in church and most importantly raised to have a relationship and know what having a relationship with God and Jesus Christ is. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get to my experience here. Um, so this particular experience I had, it was about when I was, let's say, anywhere between eight and 10 years old, I wanna say, something like that. Um, when I was younger, I was extremely afraid of the dark, afraid of demons, aliens, anything like that, and I would spend countless hours staying up all night just terrified of what I could possibly see. Um, and so one particular night I went to bed and I don't really remember being particularly afraid this night. I think I actually fell asleep. Um, and I can't remember whatever made me wake up. I can't remember if someone, if I felt a presence just in the room or if I felt somebody tap me on my shoulder. But all I know is that sometime in the middle of the night, the late hours of the night, I awoke in my bed because I felt something wake me up or I felt a presence that just woke me up. And there's no other way to say it but just tell the truth of what I saw. But no joke, when I opened my eyes, what I saw standing at the foot of my bed was a half man, half animal creature standing at the foot of my bed. Um, the best thing, the best way I could describe it, it was fairly short from his head down to his waist it was a human body. He was really muscular, had no shirt on. His face was just vibrant colors, colors that were just way more extreme even than this world that we live in. And from his waist down, you could see, I could see his fur. I could see his hooves. So it was like a half man, half goat, or a half man, half horse, something like that. But all I know is imagine being, you know, nine years old, eight years old, and you're laying in your bed, you're already afraid of the dark. You're already terrified of the dark. And then one night you open your eyes and you see the thing you feared most is standing at the foot of your bed. I'll tell you what, I literally was petrified. I literally felt like I couldn't move. I couldn't, I couldn't move an inch. I felt like every hair in my body was standing up. I couldn't talk. I mean, I was just utterly frozen. And I'm looking at this thing, and the thing that struck me the most when I looked at this creature, and I'll never forget it, is just the, the sinister grin, the sinister look that was on his face and in his eyes. He's just looking down on me, you know, looking down on me, and with this sinister grin, and it was almost, even though there was nothing that was said at that first moment, he was just huffing and puffing and smiling down on me like this. And, you know, it was almost like he was breathing in my fear. That's the best way I could describe it. He was feeding off of it, and he knew how terrified I was of him. So, you know, I'm laying there, and I'm looking at this half man, half beast. And what was crazy is, is that around the same time that I was younger, um, like I said, my mom is a Christian, a woman full of faith, full of the Holy Spirit. And whether she realized, whether she said this seriously or not at the time that she said it, she had told me and my younger brother at one time that if we ever saw a ghost or a demon, not to be afraid because all we have to do is say the blood of Jesus is against you and it would literally go away because everything has to submit to the authority of Jesus. So... You know, I'm laying there, I'm petrified. 
I couldn't say a word. And at some point in my spirit, all of a sudden, I just had this knowing. I had this knowing and this remembrance of exactly what my mom had told me. And all I could, the best way I could describe it is just like the power of God just came over my entire being. And this indescribable courage just rose up within me. And all of a sudden I looked this, this creature, this demon dead in its eyes. And I said, the blood of Jesus is against you. And I'm telling you, this thing went from being afraid. I mean, this, sorry, not afraid, but this thing went from being just powerful and sinister and looking down on me, knowing how afraid I was of it. So literally, as soon as I said that, as soon as I said the blood of Jesus is against you, he went, he literally shuddered, he trembled, and he turned around. I was in my bedroom, I'm looking around. This is what you call an open vision. I was actually, I could see everything in my room. It was in the darkness, but this creature was lit up, and it was more real than this realm. But I'm telling you, that demon ran out of my room. I watched it gallop down the hallway. It leapt into the air, and it vanished. And it just left this weird blue, bluish light, like a bluish trail behind it. That's the best way I could describe it. It was almost like it had little sparkles or something crazy like that. But all I can tell you is that that thing fled from me. It straight up fleed from me. And it didn't flee from me, but it flew from the name and the authority that I spoke, which was the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm telling you, I'll never forget that experience. After that, I can't really remember being afraid of the dark at all. Honestly, not like that. Um, it was just, and like I said, that was years back. Um, I'll be turning 32 tomorrow. So this happened years ago. Like I said, I was a young kid. Um, so, and at the time, I hadn't really read the Bible. I'd memorized a, a couple of scriptures that I learned as a kid in church and in school. But later on when I grew up and started getting into the Word of God, into the Bible, I came across this scripture that literally describes exactly what ended up happening. So I was allowed by the grace of God to experience something and see something for, with my own eyes take place. And sure enough, it actually lines up perfectly with scripture. And you can find it in the book of James, chapter 2, verse 19. And I'm reading from the King James Version, but it says, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. So there it is. It's straight from scripture. At the time I experienced it, I didn't know that was in scripture. All I knew is the little thing that my mom had told me. And I knew that I was saved. And at that point, when I had this being standing before me, that's the only thing I could do is call upon the name of Jesus. But it wasn't until I felt that in my spirit and then I rose up in the power of, of his name and that thing fled away from, just fled away from me. It was just an incredible, amazing experience. And it's, you know, it happened, uh, it was such a intense experience that I kind of forgot about it for years and then started remembering that it happened. And, you know, of course, at first you think that it's so crazy that no one's ever going to believe you. But, you know, um, I'm at the point now where I've shared this experience with, uh, a handful of people that I felt led by the Lord to share it with. But ultimately, the goal of sharing this story is just to let you know, whoever's watching that, the supernatural realm is real, is very real. And, but don't ever be afraid because it says also in the Bible, in, uh, what is it? The book of Philippians, chapter 2, verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. So everything that was created must bow and submit to the authority in the name of Jesus Christ. So if you're ever in that situation, you know what to do. Um, I definitely just hope through this video that, like I said, uh, I can bring more of an awareness that the supernatural realm is real. And it can only be concluded that if demons are real, then God has to be real. And of course, Satan is real. And so that should really make you think. And if you've watched this video this far, whatever led you to this video, I hope that you can just know, uh, because it's one thing to know God and it's one thing to hear about things like the supernatural realm, demons, angels, the kingdom of God. Uh, it's, it's one thing to hear about that stuff and read about it 
from a theological standpoint, and it's another thing when you actually hear testimony of someone who's experienced something on this level. So uh, ever since that experience, I've had just a deep craving for more of the supernatural, and I believe that the Lord has definitely gifted me with the gift of discerning spirits, because uh, once you've seen something like that and experienced it, you you have this this hyper awareness inside of your spirit and soul that you just know how real that realm is, and it's it's nothing to play with, you know, the occult. Uh, it's nothing to play with, but thank God if you're filled and you're saved and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you have a hedge of protection around you, and you have angels watching over you. And uh, so I want to just end that video on that note. Um, yeah, I'm, I plan on making a lot more videos, but I hope that you're just blessed in my testimony. And I hope that this experience that I've shared has shed some light from someone who's actually experienced it firsthand. Um, you know, the Lord just gave an amazing opportunity to see his name and his authority and the power of his blood at work against the powers of darkness and against the demon of demons of hell. So um, I just want to say God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach. That's Jesus Christ's name um, in Hebrew. Uh, but just in the name of Jesus, be blessed. I hope you're encouraged to dig deeper. And I hope that you're strengthened to know that the name and the blood of Jesus has conquered all things in heaven, on earth, and under the earth. So God bless you, and take care.